before we jam in, take a look at this clean and modern reception setup. We are building the entire wall design and the reception disk from scratch in SketchUp. All with same shapes and a few smart plugins. Let's turn this empty space into something guests actually wants to walk toward. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nice Tower Channel. If you are into architecture, interior design, or just love watching spaces glow up, you are in the right place. Hit like, subscribe, and let's demonstrate into today's build a modern reception wall and a custom reception disc. We start in the second scene because all the extra elements are hidden and it's easier to work cleanly. First, I copy a line with 400 millimeters here, then another one at 5 millimeters. I select this surface and copy it at 900 millimeters. Type X2 to repeat the copy. Now I copy another surface at 1800 millimeters away. One more copy at 300 millimeters. And another one at 900 millimeters. From one of these surfaces, I take a copy with move plus control. And now using the 1001 bit plugin, I generate a vertical panel design. I enter the value first 20 millimeters, 25, 35, angle 0, choose front and create. Once the panel is ready, I move it back into its place. Select all this line and let all these parts get a 20 millimeters extrusions. Also this parts. And this one gets a 40 millimeters. Done. And in this next section also get 40 millimeters. Also extruded here. Delete these lines. Then I draw a curve here and push it all the way across the complete the shape. Also delete this part. Once everything looks right, I select all the pieces and group them. Now we get inside the room to see how the design fills in the space. And now time for reception disk. I start with a rectangle 700 by 3000 millimeters and extruded up 1000 millimeters. From this line, I up, I take a copy at uh, 100 millimeters. Then again, from the next side, I take a copy at 100 millimeters. Let this line and push the section 200 millimeters down. And now, from this line, I take another copy at 200 millimeters. Another one from here at 200 millimeters again delete this line and push the surface 70 millimeters isolate everything and make the group from this point I mark 500 millimeters and from the bottom 100 millimeters and here I draw a rectangle 
600 by 3500 millimeters and extruded 50 millimeters I add two lines another one here and extrude this area over the edge and draw another line here delete this line and I offset 100 millimeters move this line all the way across and extrude again by 100 millimeters also extrude this part it's done then I copy a line at 100 millimeters and take a copy of this surface here delete this line and from this line I take a copy at 20 millimeters then another one at 200 millimeters and push this entire section and 600 millimeters in war I divide the main edge into four equal parts and draw vertical lines on those points also here I select them and copy all of them by 5 millimeters to create detail I add a new line here at 100 millimeters then another one at 20 millimeters and push this piece 7, seven millimeters now I take a copy of the surface with move plus control and with 1001 bit plugin create another vertical panel using the same setting as before I move this back into place select all and delete select all and make the group select this and this and make another group then switch to the main scene time for fine tuning I adjust the panel's position with a slight move let's do materials for the wall panels I use a soft gray material also this part this part gets wood texture now I escalate a little and move to align nicely it's better the center lines becomes black and the other panels stay in gray tones it's done for the disc the front gets white marble texture for this part I use wood texture now I rotate it by 90 degrees and move it for a clean grain direction the trim lines go black and the deeper inner parts get dark gray with black accent now I add a 3D text for the brand name 
Here I type nice tower. I pick I pick a font. I choose this one. I scale it up and position it perfectly on the front panel. Scale it a little more. It's done. Then I add another text for the disk label. I type reception. For height, I type 100 and place. I scale it a little more. It looks much better. And move it and adjust its placement as well. With that done, the design is complete. Let's head over the, to the main scene and check everything with a few camera shots. Here it is, a clean, modern, fully styled reception area. The wall feels structured and elegant. The disc has both form and function, and the materials glance each other beautifully. A simple workflow, but a very polished final result. This wraps up the entire tutorial for today's reception wall and disc build. If you enjoyed this walkthrough or learned something new, hit like, subscribe, and share it with someone who loves SketchUp as much as we do. More design breakdowns are on the way. So stay tuned and keep creating beautiful spaces. Bye for now.